Grace and mercy and peace belong to you, from God our Father and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's light our candle to mark our brief time around God's Word today. Lighting a candle is just one way to have a vivid reminder that in a, a world that's often dark and, and full of storms, Jesus always is the light of the world. I'm going to show you an old book. It is entitled, The Making of American Civilization. This is an old American history book published in 1937, intended for high school students. And when you look at this, it, it's a reminder that uh, there is big history in this world, big sweeping events that affect many, many people, such as this American history book. But here's a little treasure that our family found inside of this history book that talked about big sweeping events. Somewhere along the line, one of the high school students who was studying the big sweeping events of American history evidently was trading notes with somebody else in class. And on page 596 and 597, sandwiched between those two pages, is this little note, and it's evidently a reply to getting together later on in the day, and it says, that's swell. I don't think I can get there till about 7.15. And so as these high school students from the late 1930s or perhaps early 1940s were studying the great sweeping events of American history, two of them were discussing how to get together later. One of them saying, that's swell. I don't think I can get there till about 7.15. So on the one hand, you have big history. And on the other hand, here's a piece of little history. Big history, little history. You and I are familiar with both. We certainly lived through big history. We're in big history right now as this is being taped the presidential elections have just taken place, and at least at this moment, it's not clear at all, at all who the next president will be. So we're familiar with big history, but you and I are also familiar with little history. The small interactions that you and I have with others every single day, the things that happen to us personally, the the, the crises that, that happen to us, uh, crises big and small and in between that may happen to us or, or to people that we care about, things that weigh on our hearts, things that we think about for the future, things that trouble us from our past. And so you and I are very familiar with big history and our own little history. But here's the great beauty is that when it comes to big history or little history, the Lord is the Lord of it all. We know that the one who came to this earth and walked a, a, a holy life in our place and took all of our wrongs to the cross and washed them all away and then rose from death, that is the very same one who is the sovereign Lord of all nations, the sovereign Lord of all history, and he also watches over our own little histories as well, because to the Lord Jesus, our little histories, our, our little day-to-day -day events, they're not little to him at all. You are so precious to him that God became a human being in the person of Jesus Christ to die on a cross, 
just so he could claim you as his own through faith in him. And so whether we think about the big history that we're living through or the so-called little history that you and I live through every day, the Lord is the Lord of all of it. He's guiding all of it for your good and mine. Even the difficult trying uh, portions and, and those moments when we don't see any rhyme or reason as to what is taking place. The Lord is the Lord. He is the Lord of it all. And for that reason, we know that in Him, all will be well. The Word of God before us is our Psalm of the day, Psalm 111. And this is God's word in the opening verses of Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the counsel of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.